Greetings and thank you so much for the opportunity to come to you today. We trust that you are enjoying your walk with the Lord and just to remind you that this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be glad in it. This week we are reflecting on Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 1 through 6. But the Lord has, Lord spoke to the prophet Jeremiah, told him to go down to the potter's house. And there he saw the potter working on a lump of clay at the potter's wheel. And then the Lord spoke to Jeremiah and said, just as the clay is in the hand of the potter, so is the house of Israel in my hands. And we are drawing some insights from that comparison, that illustration. Today we want to consider the clay. You see, the clay of itself, of in and of itself, cannot become a vessel. The clay, we say, is dependent on the potter working on it to become something useful, meaningful, and purposeful. Secondly, of course, the potter expects something of the clay. The potter expects the lump of clay to be of the right consistency, uh, to hold itself together well, and to be able to go through the process that he intends taking that lump of clay uh, uh, and shaping it into whatever he desires it to become. So he expects something of the clay. Now, we are like that clay. People are like that clay is what God is telling in this illustration. The difference, of course, is the lump of clay as an, is an inanimate thing, whereas we are living beings with, uh, with a free will and we are free moral beings. So that's a huge contrast. But what God does expect, what we can say is, and we draw this comparison of the clay with us as people, we can say that we, by our own selves, cannot become what God wants us to become. It's not our strength that's going to get us there. But we are dependent on the potter to work on us, to be, help us become that. And secondly, it is our yielding of our will our free will, us choosing to align our will to His will, us willfully determining to choose to do the will of the Father, which is our yieldedness to, the, to Him, which makes us of the right consistency, which makes us a, like the lump of clay that can be shaped and fashioned into what the potter wants. So as the clay is worked upon by the potter, here we are saying we take intentionally take our will and use our will, our willful choosing, our willful acting, our willful yielding to what the potter wants for us, which is us being a, a, a lump of clay that the potter can work on. So as the clay, we understand two things. We are dependent on the potter to become something meaningful, useful, and purposeful. And secondly, we yield our will to the potter's instructions, the potter's will on our lives. That makes us that lump of clay that he can actually work on to shape and fashion into something beautiful. Let us be like the lump of clay, knowing that it's our will that we bring in surrender to the potter. Let's pray. Father, we look to you. You are the potter. We are the clay. We are dependent on you to become meaningful, purposeful vessels, Lord. And we surrender ourselves. We align our wills. We take our will to do your will so that you can work in us and shape us and mold us as you desire. Help us in this process, we pray. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.